And don't forget, guys. Jesus. Okay, keep going. Sorry. Uh, and don't forget, guys. No, you clapped in the I know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Between Two Barrels. I'm Pete. This is Nick. And we're your home for booze, news, and reviews. Today, we're going to be talking about two of our personal barrels of Elijah Craig. says personal barrels because they are very much so that we had a few samples set up sent up to us we went through the samples and we picked out the samples we like best and we bought the whole barrel the single barrel quite different than a, a small batch which is typically a blend of many barrels very uniquely special to us and here on our left we have our Elijah Craig eight-year single barrel which you can find at Pascal Liquor Square in DeWitt and uh, Elijah Craig 11 year single barrel which you can find at Pascal Liquors in Liverpool. Why don't we tell them uh, go through we have the 8 year on our left mm -hmm. 11 year on our right and let's taste them and uh, talk about the differences. Hey cheers buddy. Salute. So these are our barrels the 8 year a little younger than um, the one out in Liverpool um, has a lot of grain, a lot of corn. You get a lot of corn sweetness, but you do get um, some of that rye spice on the end. Yeah, a little bit of that Kentucky hug right now. That yeah, hot you know. heat alcohol coming down just warms you up inside. Yeah, not a burn, but warmth. Warmth. But like you said, sweet corn, a little bit of nutmeg on the finish there, but it definitely has some heat to it. Sure. So let's, uh, let's try the 11 here now, see if we can pull out some nice differences. It's got a real lot of cinnamon on the nose. Mm. Definitely, they're different. Yours, the 11 year, way more barrel, but that makes sense. It spent three more years in the barrel. You're going to get um, mm. a way woodier, oakier uh, taste the longer it oh, spends. Cinnamon, in the cinnamon toast, but like you said, you get that woody, almost get that a little bit more of a, a difference in the mouthfeel. Some tannins in the back sure. that you pull from the oak on um, that kind of. A, a more fuller, a fuller bodied. You can feel in the back of your tongue a little sure. bit. Really wonderful. Two two wonderful selections, though, I gotta say. Yeah. Hey, good job. Nice work. Nice work. And don't forget, guys, you can find all our videos on YouTube at Between Two Barrels. All our previous videos are there. All our future videos will be there. Um, we'd really appreciate it if you get subscribed. And uh, we hope to see you next week.